Hey everybody, I started a new party for Wizardry 8, and this is a more classic magic damage party. It's a bar to get, uh, bar to get tier and four bishops. So I just wanted to show how I've set up some of my spell casting macros. So here's the characters. This is an elf int dex bishop. And here's the spell she knows. This is after, I think I've visited six book vendors. The Arnika ones four times and Kunar and Sadok twice each. And this is what she has. Here's her skills. Like the decent number of spell picks. She's been doing mostly mental and divine. I think I did a little bit of mental grinding on her, but not a lot. And fire this from energy blast but she has a lot of room to train these and here's the rest of the 91 kills this is the in speed one this is in dex this is a brilliant home so 91 a brilliant find in dex here's his spells I messed this up. He doesn't have a second cone after magic missiles. I'll get to that in a second. Here's his skills. This was the alchemy guy. He got all in early on on alchemy. He didn't get magic missile right away either. I gave him the stamina and the light book just to push to train books. And then I did a bit of knock-knock grinding enough to get from, I think, 32 to 40 on alchemy. But that's the only grinding I've done. A bit of mental on her and a bit of earth on him. And then, yeah, here's his 44 kills. Yeah, here's his stats. And then she is another int dex. The idea is for these two to hold the flank. I don't know if they'll be strong enough to do that. Here's her training. She was the wizardry divinity person, so she's casting magic screen. And you can see that her divine is super high because she was first the enchanted blade caster and then she became the magic screen caster. So you can see she's growing these two pretty well and then fire, and this is through the strat sphere. But again, all this stuff needs to be trained. And I have the, the spells now to do it, so they'll, they're gonna climb fast. And uh, she has a ton of kills. I don't know why. Because she's, I think, maybe third in the turn order. So she, he, she casts first. He casts second. So against weak enemies, she gets all the kills. Against strong enemies, this guy softens him up. And she puts in a finishing blow. This is an argument that three bishops is really the ideal amount of casters for most battles. And anything past three starts to be overkill. And yeah, here's her stats. And then she's the strength int person. This basically replaces MP Norman's power cast priest. And she's going to have the Staff of Doom and be a hitter in the second row. So I didn't like the power cast priest as a frontliner in my last magic damage party. But I think it could still be a good character attacking with the Staff of Doom from the second row. So I, I know from experience, even on Expert... At level 21, two strong warriors are enough to kill any boss on Ascension Peak. And in this party, I'm going to have three. I'm going to have the Staff of Doom Bishop. Um, one of these will be Bloodlust and one of these will be Fang. So that's like more than enough physical damage to get through the late game. And okay, so here's her stats. She's Strength Int. She's a human. The other three are Elves. Here's her spell picks or spell books after all the buying. And here's, she's like the most balanced. And she's probably a little bit less developed than the others because I think she goes last and she gets less training. So one nice thing about having four bishops is whoever's lagging is going to get to cast the buffs. So once in a while, I'll just reassess who's lagging and they're going to get all the buff training. 
and yeah, she's at 64 kills. And as you can see, this is probably almost all from magic. There's barely any physical training on any of the guys. These two are a little bit better, sword and... But even they don't, they don't get to fight a lot. They don't get to do much. There's, well, 51 kills, 59 kills. They're not, they're holding their own. Not terrible. But you can see for this, this one, I, I'm carrying Bloodlust. I'm not using it because my game speed is so high that I need to be able to switch into range weapons. You'll see in a second how this works. So here's the first buff macro I've got set up. You. Something failed. But um, basically, I have all the buffs. Chameleon failed. Okay, no big deal. You bellowed? I think he's the only chameleon guy. I don't have armor plate yet. It hasn't spawned on Kunar, and I don't have X ray yet. But all the other buffs I have. And for some I reason, I, I don't have. I can't add this to a macro because whenever this goes into the screen, it automatically casts identify item. So I, I need like more spells in here for this to work correctly to add this to a macro. But just cast this. So now I'll show you how my casting macros work. Stand back and watch me. Okay, so this is you might learn something. Um, Understood. We're just going to use our staple okay. magic missile macro so. on all these plants. I don't want to use my uh, group targeting macros because I don't know what friendly group they might target. So I just have to be really careful about not aggroing the Upani. But my cones will target properly. So let's cast this okay. out. If you say so. And the bard. Very well. So my targeting for 1.28 isn't quite working for the bard and gadgeteer. I think like something. Oh. 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 Let's do a little bit of water I training. Okay. If you say so. This battle's slow because there's so many allies, actually. I should just I am the best. Okay, if you say so. I understand. Oops, no. Why would I do that? I understand. Yeah, let's just kill these guys and get this over with. I don't have my clouds. Okay. Macro, it's more annoying to do with my keyboard. So when I need to cast clouds, I just must still cast them manually. Oh, let's train the water. Okay. If you say so. Rami right okay. If you say so. That's a relief. Oh, much better. I understand. Right okay. If you say so. Battle's taking too long. Those tents travel I understand. Okay, if you say so. So I think well, only one done, person everyone. in my party has here has cure poison. So let's just dump all the cure poison in on this guy. You bellow. One guy has somebody in my party yes. has cure lesser. I am ready. That is great relief. That's better. I don't know if we need to rest, but just recover a little bit of divine mana. Ooh, 
Ooh, one of those guys died. I want to find some classic Arnica Road encounters. Swallowers I can't take because I don't have a guardian angel. And I don't I, I I don't know how to my shift one targeting macros are not working. Or hotkeys are not working. I, they used to work. I don't know why they stopped working. So I can't set up a GA macro. Because I can't target my own characters. So once Great Mage tells me how to fix that, I will be able to take these uh, swallower fights. That is great relief. Right. Much better. Yes. Ooh, no. uh, I don't want to fight the rogues and the Hogar together. I want to fight just the rogues if I can. Are they coming towards us or are they walking away from us? And then with this party, I'm not strong enough to hold flanks yet. So I need to find corners to fight in. It's my, but I don't have amulets of healing or enough rings of protection and stuff. So just wait for these guys. They're trash anyway. But I'll just show you how easy it is to play a mass caster party. So this should work. So let's start with a sleep macro. I understand. Right. Okay. If you say so. Not gonna happen. Um, what's got that? Nope. I understand. Right. Okay. If you say so. That's, that's what we want. Bed galer. Anas Rami. Bed galer. I understand. Okay, I understand. So sleep, sleep. Anas Rami. So some, one of my macros is not quite working. I right. understand. Okay, if you say so. But I've got my air macro is set. To everybody cast sleep. This one, everybody cast terror and sanity. I understand. Okay, now if you say so. Actually, let's kill them. I am not oh. okay. If you say so, okay. If you say so, right, much better. Understood. You can just see how easy it is to just try. I don't even know how long this took, but it's this is like round seven of this fight or more. Okay, if you say so. It's round eight. Those tents travel in battle. I am the skinner. And when people get close, we need to kill them. I am the Okay, get left. Those tents travel in battle. I am the Okay, if you say so. Since there's only one guy, we can do all the water training. If you say so. And so we that was it. what, like 12 rounds? Something like that? Delightful. And look at how much training we got. This is like the beauty of macros. And a lot of these spells are still being cast at 
PL1. Oh, another Pux cap. Nice. And a ring. This is the problem with having all these bishops. It's like the carry weight. I gotta do something about all these 37 strengths. So they can't all carry rocks. And I'm used to carrying around huge piles of stuff and it's just not viable with this party. But let's take the level off on her. Oh, she's level 10. So she's the first person to hit level 10. And you can see these are the imported stats, which is why there's like weird numbers on all this stuff and this is way too much int so i don't know if it's worth importing a bard because you get all these stats that are useless but i don't know i mean it still means that stuff trains faster so i guess that's not totally useless and she's gonna hit reflection on time she's just a little bit behind in strength from a bard we would make ourselves I don't know if it's worth raising communications, but I'm kind of an OCD, so I do it. Are you bellowed? So I'm going to show just a couple more battles, and then I'll stop recording. But this party is super fun to play, just with all these casts. And it, it is just, it's just really fun to play casters where I don't have to spend six mouse clicks to put in one spell. Especially like these PL1 spells I that are just beam. important for training but really annoying to cast that just never feel worth it. Stand back and watch me Ooh, fight. Queen you might I understand. If you say so. Okay. I understand. Okay. If you say so. I understand. Okay. If you say so. We're gonna have to. This queen ant is like super dangerous. Understood. There. I understand. Okay. If you say so. So this, I don't normally do any kind of micro, but this character. This enemy okay. is just really dangerous. Right there. Oh! I do believe I'm wounded. She does have guardian angel. If you say so, then. Understood. Right. Much better. I understand. Take this. Okay. I understand. Very well. Very well. Yeah, so I can absolutely not waste okay. casts. Because this enemy does so much damage. I understand. <gasps> Right. Much better. Strange. I can't see. Now then. Agilasta. She's gonna die. I understand. Okay. Oh, I'm... Don't forget to kill I'm the shocked. Bodies. We didn't lose anybody. That should have been a death somewhere here. I owe it all to... Decent training from that too. I am ready. Cure lesser. Gotta love the training. Yes. 
So if my targeting, my self-targeting shift hotkeys worked, then I wouldn't need uh, to manually do this healing either. That would also Waiting. be macroed. So here's the difference between imported and created fresh. So she's at 81.96. Locks, engineering, and I guess sword. So she's at 8196. This is the one that was imported. So it's like a level and a half behind on the two critical skills, but overall her stats are higher. You <laughs> I've sighted a creature. Nice. A lot of garbage. Although the lack of armor plates hurting me, and you'll notice that I don't have an earth cone macro yet, because I kind of messed up with my cones. Uh, I have two psionic fires and two shrill sounds, but I think she learned both psionic, or she relearned both psionic fire and shrill sound. That second shrill sound book should have gone to this green bishop. And so then he could participate in cones. And somehow I've not May found fortune any. May smile on us in this great battle. Right then. I am best right okay, then. if you say so. Yeah, well, let's just I start with the okay. fire if you say so. This bishop. See, he should be participating in this cone, but he doesn't have a fire, earth, or air cone. And you would think with two trips to Kunar, I would have found at least four web plus itching skin plus whipping rocks. So some in four total earth cone books, but I think I've only gotten two. So that's just kind of bad luck, but he can still cast air manually. Right there. So somehow the 1.28 requires you to Very force well. target this, which is a little bit annoying for the piercing pipes. The shit's gonna die, probably. I understand. Now we can start so? training random stuff. Okay, are kind of dangerous, so just make sure it does. Sorry, my dear. Okay, if you say so. Not gonna happen. Oh, well. I understand. Okay, if you say so. Oops, never mind. Out of enemies. Fortune was with us. It's fun because I get so much training from even these random battles. I just get to dump my entire mana pool so quickly. Like these all started as pretty low and they're all like starting to climb now. All these weak realms. Do one more battle. Let's go to the resting spot. Most of my parties don't cast this many spells. So I don't do nearly as much. Resting. And 
I also use the teleports to skip past all this crap. On our new girl. And really need two more stamina lockets for the other two girls. The boy, unfortunately, doesn't. Doesn't get to recover stamina. And as I mentioned in my post on the forums, I've I only picked six total spells for this entire party, but if I could go back, I think I would still just pick Whipping Rocks. I was going to just wait until Ego Whip and Psionic Blast and not take any of the lower level stuff, but um, I'm tired of not having the Earth Macro. And everybody has enough wizardry to learn Whipping Rocks. It's just such a good spell that I want to start training it. Web and Itching Skin I'll get from books, but... I guess I can just go to Trenton. I haven't been there. I need to get the int bonus. And I'm not planning to use RPCs for this. Uh, I might use Arc. Pierce or Modi. So they're dangerous. And they, I definitely need a corner to fight them in. If you say so, okay. So yeah, the that that macro is not working because. I understand. Okay. If you say so, bed galah. No stands travel in the I understand. Okay. If you say so. Very bed galah. No stands travel in the Oh, I I okay. If you say so. Well, now that they're here, maybe we. Bed galah. Oh, nice. Okay. If you Bed galah. Amos Rami Bagadad. I understand. Okay. If you say so. Just train water. <sighs> Now I understand. Okay. If you say so. Okay. If you say so. Okay. If you say so. I understand. Okay. If you say so. There. And this guy, we do need a heal. Like that. You can see what how many how many rounds was that? 10 rounds, battle was ultra short, and it only took mm, even yellow. that long because I had to macro some healing and defensive spells, or had to cast some healing and defensive spells. Against weak HP monsters, I don't even need to do that. Look, creatures over there. Crimson Poppy. Decent mana. When my water gets higher, I'm, water is a great. After you transition to AOE and fire, water is a great single target realm. I understand. Okay. If you say so. Okay. If you say so. Okay. Because it doesn't have any AOE until high school. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. If you say so. That was that was dicey. Here. This is why I want like a little bit more yes. of a buffer in hit points for my 
bishops. Levels will get that, AC will get that, and some points in vitality eventually will get that too. I also still don't have any of I guess I shouldn't. I shouldn't stop risking backfires. That's better. I am the okay. If you say so. This guy is also falling behind in psionics training because uh, he doesn't have a set of the only I am the okay. If you say so. I am the okay. So much training. You bellowed? Just amazing. So maybe let's see if we can find one more fight. Then I'll stop this video. I sense a living being. I do want to take that fight, but I want to rest with Nana first. Look, creatures over there. So I want to see what a juggernaut and plant fight looks like with this party. Where did they go? Okay, so there they are. What's the best cave to fight them in? Oh, those are bats. Understood. Right there. Okay. Bed get out. I understand. Right okay. If you say so. There. I understand. Right okay. If you say so. Get out. I'm afraid it's there. Oh God. I am best okay. I am best okay. If you say so.
Okay, let's go find those. Let's. Where is a good corner to pull? Okay, so can we pull them close? There's no, there's no good corners here. So the main reason I have a problem with fighting these guys in the open is because I don't have any of my cloud spells macroed. I'm also going the wrong direction. It's the bank, dude. Why, who could that be? I need them. Oh. See you around. My pleasure. Three pointer communications. Look what's coming. What's coming? So this is a situation in which we, we actually do need to have some clouds because we are surrounded. Oh. I think. Everybody does have clouds. If you say so. It's not all the same as she has. I understand. Very well. Like having this corner makes all the difference in the world for this party. You bellowed. Basically, if if I can fight from a corner, then it's like an auto win. But if I get caught in the open, at least one character will die, and it might be a white. Very, very binary, because the bishops are just really squishy still. I really want to fight these guys. I don't know if I can take This them. is not good. Okay, they're right here. So, this is not a good corner. This is a
they not see us? Okay, so they're going in that direction. God damn it. Yeah, that camouflage is really something, isn't it? What direction are they going in? What the hell? Or is there maybe there's more than one party? So I meet them wherever I'm going. Yeah, there's two there's two groups, that's what it is. Okay. Okay, yep. Two groups. So can we pull This is where I want to fight them. Good. Okay, good. And they will aggro right here. Right? Okay. Okay. No. Not here. Okay, not gonna happen. Okay. Or if you say so, I understand. Not for all the money in the world. No. If you say so, I understand. Not for all the money in the world. If you say so, I understand. Why is this thing casting? Not for all the money in the world. Plus. 
Okay. See something moving. Voilà, petite porte. I understand. Okay. If you say so. Let's see if we can target the juggernauts and start. Uh... No, 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 no! Don't retreat, guys. Very well. Here. What, why is it so hard to pull these guys? Okay. Right then. I am the right Okay. If you say so. Sonic fire. If you say so. If you say so. If you say so. Let's blinding flash and just see if we can get some sense. Okay, so they're starting to die. Got some wounds here. I understand. Very well. Very well. I sense a living being. If you say so. Okay. So at least one guy is um If you think so. I've got some serious injuries. Right. There. She has noxious fumes, but kind of weak. I understand. Those tents traveled in vacuum. I'm gonna run out of mana. Okay. 
Oh, this idiot's blinded. Can we cast a hypnotic war? I understand. This guy has got a lot of fire in him, but just not great spells. Oh, he has energy blast. Probably too much HP, but let's let's continue. If I had whipping rocks, I think I could take this fight. Right there. Mm. Okay. Very well. Very well. Okay. Just kill them, guys. We have to. We have to play the first game. If he only had one fire AoE, I think we would be fine. Right there. She have oh she still has sonic fire. If you say so, the Much better. I understand. I'm just like barely short. If you say so. Do you have any attacks left? I am the strong. Okay. Man, Shrill sounds so weak. I need something like fire. You <gasps> say so? The negative energy is gone. Very well. <clears throat> Very well. Anything, anything. If you say so. Actually, she has a strong insanity. That I understand. Most has traveled in He's got healing. That is great relief. If you say so. I understand. <sighs> yeah. Then to get out. That's too bad. I'm sure she had many fine qualities. If you I say so. 
Got some wounds here. I need some ah! damage. I've got some serious injuries. I understand. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now. Let's get left. Actually, we might win. I understand. We'll see if this 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 dude's gonna maybe kill us, but oh. <laughs> I guess I'm fated to die. No, hang in there, dude. You're not fated to die. If you say so. Okay. I am ready. We did it. Wow. Bellow. I'm I'm amazed. Here. Yes. I am ready. I am I am amazed. Actually, she's got cure poison in her. That's a relief. Is there more st Oh, shit. Stand back and watch okay. her. <laughs> you might learn something. Uh, let's see. Okay, we can... Oh, no, fuck. Okay, well... Okay. Well, we did win the battle, but that fight with the Piercer Modas is probably a wipe. I didn't say it afterwards. We'll uh, stop the recording there. So, I mean, impressive that this the party was able to win, barely. And skin of the teeth. A little bit more preparation in terms of having spells known and things would have turned the tide. If I just even had whipping rocks, this would have been a win. Okay, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.